Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Kabaka Mwanga II was a Ugandan king that ruled in pre-colonial Uganda at the age of 16 in 1884. Though many powerful men in this culture were polygamous, including Mwanga, who had at least 16 wives, it was well known throughout his kingdom that he also enjoyed the physical and romantic connections with many of his male subjects as well. Before the Christian influence of the British colonists, homosexual acts in Africa were a part of life, but the puritanical beliefs of the powerful British colonists changed much of the culture of Uganda and Africa as a whole, and anyone who challenged the British became their targets. King Mwanga was known to resist converting to Christianity and British colonization. When many of his subjects became Christian and some of his previous lovers began to deny his sexual advances because homosexual acts were frowned upon by the British, King Mwanga executed the subjects who spurned his advances. Eventually, in 1884, King Mwanga was overthrown and replaced by his brother, and eventually the British would colonize Uganda entirely. I think it's ironic that today, Uganda has made a name for itself on the global stage as a country that has consistently legalized the persecution of LGBT people, saying that queer identities are Western imports. Yet it was a king that loved the company of men that tried to protect his people from British exploitation and colonization in the first place. Though I'm sure King Mwanga II was no perfect king, even he knew that the influence of British culture on the Ugandan people would have dire consequences. And I think he was right. <laughs> <laughs>